it's 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 been the YouTube decade. Definitely has been for better or worse. I don't know how we got from here's a place you can upload videos of your baby dancing. Yeah. To Nazis. I I don't know how it, there's there's been an arc, and I I don't know how, but that's that's thank you YouTube. It's it's been awesome. I feel like that's been the internet in general. Like, remember when the internet was for cats? Those were good times. When the internet was just places to do cat game yeah. memes. I can has cheeseburger. Remember? Right. Remember those beautiful those days? And not for fucking Nazis. Remember Catter Day? Yeah. That was awesome. People are some some people are watching like, what's Catter Day? What's what's a cheeseburger? I don't understand. Remember like keyboard cat? Do 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 yes. And like now it's Nazi. Now it's Nazi. And also people um yelling about women in Star Wars and people yelling about people yelling about women in Star Wars. I'm one of those latter ones because <laughs> angry fanboys who yell about women in Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars fans in general right now, all of them, <sighs> all of you can shut the fuck up. Star Wars fans are kind of the worst fans. Aren't they just? Aren't like, they fucking just? Like, I'm a big fan of Lost. I'm a big fan of the X-Files. I'm a big fan of Twin Peaks. And all of those things have... I'm a big fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And all of those things have things about them that I don't like. Or that didn't personally work for me. <sighs> but none of the things that didn't personally work for me outweigh how much I like the thing. To the degree that I have to be angry at the thing I allegedly like forever. Because then you don't really like the thing. No, it's it's like if one little quibble can make you angry at the thing forever, you never really liked the thing. Star Wars has become like it's a proxy war now because people are using it as stand ins for how they feel about politics and identity matters. And it's very weird. And I'm just sitting yeah. here going, it's space wizards. It's fucking space. It's the, the, the fucking trash can that talks, people. <laughs> Come on! And people are like, well, the Force doesn't work like that. And I'm like, listen, I came into Star Wars late. I understand that. But as far as I've been able to ascertain over the last 19, 20 years that I've been aware of the Star Wars, the Force can do anything the plot fucking needs it to do. Because it's the Force. What's been really fun? What does the plot need? The Force can do that. What's been really fun is the people who were very chill about The Last Jedi. I'm like, oh, no, well, the Force, ha that things happen, you know? I mean, so yeah. I, I mean she could do and, and suddenly those same people, Rise of Skywalker, that's not how that works! It's like, so the, the places have swapped. It's very weird. The Force is plot hole speckle. Uh. <laughs> that's what the Force really is. Like, it's not, yes, it's the thing that holds together all life and existence, but it's also plot hole speckle. And that's right. baked into the cake, so that's great. Well, this, this week... I look forward to your comment. This week, we have a lot. First off, we're going to do the regular bit. And then yeah. those of you on, on here live and on YouTube can stay tuned, because we have more to come. A special thing uh, that we do every year, this time of year. But first off... If nothing else blows up tonight, that'd be nice. Where's my intro? Where is that intro? Or where's Man, I kind of look like ass. I just got to look at myself on the feed. Oh, you look fine. I tried a thing with the makeup, and it's not working. No, you're fine. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air, let's go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it all together. We'll say what we like to call... What the fuck is wrong with you? And we've got sad news to report this week. Sad, sad. News. Well, not, not. It's, it's kind of a good news, bad news situation. Um, it is, of course, our continuing coverage. Goat Watch 2019. Goat Watch. We are covering the, the, the legendary Yavla Goat in Yavla, Sweden. Um, for those of you who are a little behind, each year lovely people of Yavla, Sweden, build a gigantic 
multi-storied straw goat. And each year, the people of Yavala, Sweden, also try to burn it down. It's a game of cat and goat. <laughs> goat and mouse? Goat and the sea. Well, Earl? so far, the goat has survived this year. But there has been, there has been a, a, a death in the family. Um, the, the goat survived, but its little brother was burned alive. Um, what they do is they, they also do a smaller goat. Um, like a decoy goat. It's not, well, it's not quite like a decoy goat. Like a Padme goat. <laughs> um, the, the, the small goat, it's, there's one done by the city, and there's one done by the National Science Club, or the Natural Science Club at the School of Vasa. So it's sort of a second goat, independent goat. It's like, you know, it's, it's, there, it's, it's like a public access goat. Um, it's like a college goat, but s while the large goat survives, someone, and, and I think it's because they have the damn thing on live cam now. So it's like, probably, yeah. So, but the smaller goat was burned down and uh, I, th I think it's kind of like one of those, it's kind of like with Superman, you know, Superman is, is so powerful and nobody can go at him directly. So they fuck up Jimmy Olsen. This was them fucking up Jimmy Olsen. Does because... Superman care about Jimmy Olsen? I thought they always went after Lois Lane. Eh, it does. I mean, does Superman care about Jimmy Olsen? The comments. The comments, Tara. Oh. I'm not super up on my Superman lore, I admit. But I don't know. Is, is Jimmy Olsen like his son? It's, super, it's Superman's <laughs> pal. It's hand back there. It's like. It's Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen. Come on. Oh, okay. Um, one year, I, mean, I, I love how the article here mentions that one year, it was once destroyed with a flaming arrow by vandals dressed as Santa and the gingerbread man. There was also an attempt to abduct it with a helicopter in 2010. That's hardcore. Um... Well, it's made it through Christmas, but it's we still haven't made it through New Year's yet. It's got to make it through New Year's. And if it does, then the world ends. So, just, just be aware. Yeah. Happy I thought it had to make it through Christmas. I thought we were already into Ragnarok. No, no, it's got to make it through the New Year. So, it's got like about 48 hours left. So, I still have some time to fly to Sweden and save us all. Still have some time. Okay. Let's get to the, the regular news this week. A whole lot of Christmas. This this one is... Because we need a little Christmas right this very minute. That's exactly... People marching naked in the streets. <laughs> That's exactly what this dude did. Well, not marching naked, but a little bit, a little Christmas. Bank robbery. Suspect throws money on the street yelling, Merry Christmas. Uh-oh. <laughs> and tell me, tell me the dude does not look like Santa. Okay. Uh oh. Uh, let me let me give you, get, get you the link over here. Hold on. Tell me this dude. This this is Santa. This dude does not. Tell me that dude does not look like Santa. <laughs> Colorado Springs. So hey, it's where you guys are living soon. Hey. Witnesses say an alleged robber was doing everything he could to get caught after uh, holding up oh. a downtown Colorado Springs bank in the middle of lunchtime. Robbed the bank, came out, threw money all over the place. Said Dion Pascal. Uh, according to police, the robber walked into the Academy Bank on uh, 1 South Tijon Street uh, just before 12.30 p.m. Monday, claimed to have a weapon in his pocket and took cash. Police have not confirmed what happened next, but according to Pascal, the crook tried to put a holiday spin on his crime. He started throwing money out of the bag and then said, Merry Christmas. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. He kind of looks like Santa's drunk burnout brother, Earl. <laughs> I was going to say, kind of looks like if Nick Nolte killed Ted Allen, Tim Allen, and <laughs> started playing the Santa Claus. <laughs> uh, here's the best part. Bystanders scooped up the money and gave it back to the teller. <laughs> Pascal said the suspect sauntered down to the Starbucks next door and sat down and waited for the cops. Okay, so what was the point? I just, he tried. But <laughs> he, did he? 
He tried. People in the chair are like, oh, 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 fuck capitalism. Went and waited to get caught. Well, he wasn't. That's not, that's not how Robin Hood do. Well. I'm just, I'm like the people who are like, oh, honey, don't. They're like giving the money back to the teller. No, uh, thank you, but no. Really. Some rapper did this, and he got, like, torn apart on Twitter. Yeah, see, what happens is, um, if they steal the money and throw it in the air, and you take the money, guess what? You're now an accessory. You stole the money, yeah. You stole the money, so... The rapper, it was his own money, but he yes. was just throwing money at people in the street, and Twitter did not appreciate it. Well, they no, thought... you don't do that, because yeah. you, if, if you want to help people, don't make them scramble around like animals. That's, that's not... You can help people, but also not strip them of their dignity. Uh, and that's better. We had, we had lots of, our next story, we had lots of different uh, reports on this, but uh, you had the, the, the unique version of it you sent me. I can't believe the AP did this. I'm so proud of them. So it's, it's this is a stupid news, and it's the AP. <clears throat> you got to read the whole thing, yes. Yeah. "'Twas the night of Christmas at a North Carolina house. No creature should have been stirring, not even a mouse, but a Forsyth County couple awoke with a fright as something was moving about their house in the night. They dashed to their closet and hid in fear, dialing 911 with a sensitive ear. Responding sheriff's deputies searched the home and found a robot vacuum alone. The source of the scare had quickly been sorted, WGHP-TV reported. Sorry, that part. <laughs> the robot had seemingly started and got stuck. It's beeping and banging made the audible muck. Homeowner Thomas Millam said the vacuum named Harry was new. It had it for days, maybe just two. He said it's not better to be sorry than say if he'd call 911 again, even if making a mistake. Really? <laughs> I found that so charming. It it was turned in at a time of the year that I thought the editor just like fuck it, just print it. Just I don't care. Just fuck get it. it out there. We need three hundred words. Just, just fuck it. Just get it. And like this dude's literally the only one working at the AP. <laughs> there's at, no like, byline. There's yes. there's no this right. is this is the AP wire. So there's no yeah, byline. The AP doesn't get bylines. Like you work for the AP, you work for the AP. But like there's someone who like the newbie who's working on Christmas and is just like, you know what? I studied creative writing. I, I love how these folks, they bought themselves a fucking Roomba and seemingly forgot they bought themselves a fucking Roomba. Do you not get how the robot vacuum works? Okay, maybe the robot vacuum was trying to kill them because we shouldn't let machines think and make decisions. Why the fuck does the robot get to decide when my house needs to be cleaned? Fuck you, robot. You're not better than me. <laughs> You're going to judge me? You're going to be like, oh, this house is dirty? I'll just clean up? How very passive-aggressive, robot. <laughs> I don't trust robots. I love, but no, they hear the noses. Except like BB-8. They hear the noises and they hid in the closet from their own Roomba. <laughs> I guess we're lucky they didn't shoot it. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. is North Carolina, I guess, you know. I mean, you got to feel pretty dumb when the cops get there and you're like cowered in the closet and they're like, uh, sir? Sir, it's your vacuum. But we, fine. we have even more Christmas shenanigans. Oh my God. This was, this is a wonderful story. It's terrible, but it's also wonderful. Angry tortoise sets house on fire on Christmas day. Look at that. Look at that. The side eye that little motherfucker is giving. How? Oh yeah. He mad. <laughs> He's like, goddamn right, I set the house on fire. <laughs> I wanted romaine lettuce. Those fuckers got me iceberg. I don't have to put up with this shit. An angry British tortoise managed to set his house on fire on Christmas Day and didn't look thrilled when firefighters extinguished the blaze and saved his shell. 
The 45-year-old reptile was home alone in Essex on Wednesday afternoon when he knocked over a heat lamp, setting his bedding alight. No! Neighbor heard a smoke alarm and alerted authorities, and firefighters responded to find one room in the house ablaze and the rest of the property filled with smoke. Crews managed to extinguish the fire and found the surly, soot-covered tortoise inside. The fire department shared an image on Facebook of the tortoise, who appeared to be giving someone some serious stink eye, despite his lucky escape. <laughs> Tortoise, that's not safe. I'm. I don't. This is so weird. You come home and your house is on fire. Yeah, turtle did it. I, it how? Expect, like, how did the turtle set that? How did the turtle burn my house? The turtle did. Like, it. I what? expect that one day Dottie is going to try and set the house on fire. Probably. Am I Devo in the channel? Says. Us. Am I Devo in the channel? Says I. Um, uh, and our kiss. <laughs> I am an anti Christ. <laughs> Poor turtle. Poor turtle. I'm glad he's okay. He just he looks like fuck you all. The turtle's gonna kick gonna Turtle, they saved your life. Yeah, and he's gonna kick their asses. There's a there's a reason that reason they call it lizard brain. They they don't really care, they don't really have those warm feelings, allegedly. More like um food, yes, no. Oh hi Dottie, we were just talking about you. About how you were gonna burn the house down. Yeah. Like, goddamn right I am. I hate you. Don't look at me. Dottie doesn't like it when we look directly at her. That offends her. Um, well, this one, th this one's not exactly a Christmas story, but it's been, uh, it's been reported over the past few days. It's not a Christmas story at all, but it gives me a little bit of a warm feeling this holiday time of year. Um... Kansas police officer off force after fake claim McDonald's workers wrote pig on coffee cup. Yeah. Hey, this is like the second time. Kansas police officer resigned Monday after fabricating a story that employees at McDonald's wrote the words fucking pig on his coffee cup. Harrington police officer Brian Hornaday said Saturday that one of his officers went to a McDonald's in Junction City before work and was given the cup. Uh, after further investigation... The department discovered the unidentified Harrington officer made up the story. What and a shock! You know how they figured it out? Quite easily. Um, they have security cameras all over the fucking McDonald's. You work in the service industry, you're on camera always. And they, they saw know everything you do. They saw all the the entire transaction from three different angles. And uh you know what this is? This is this is this guy's thinking. You know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm going on Fox News. I'm set for life. Right. I'm gonna get invited to Mar a Largo. I'm I'm a good I'm a good the uh, book tour. I'm I'm gonna I'm be all of a sudden want to be victims so fucking bad. Like they're not the ones that get to walk around with guns. Right. It's I just and like a McDonald's employee. Who's making nine fifty an hour is going to risk their job just to stick it to the man? Oh, oh, of course. You're not working at McDonald's if you can afford to stick it to the man. The ex officer who remained unidentified, why? Fuck you. Is a former military police officer in the army and had been on the small town's force for two months. Hornaday said the officer told him the incident was intended. As a joke. It is the uh -oh. same fucking thing every time with these people. What's funny about that? I know, right? Every time they pull one, pull one of these things, when they get caught, suddenly it's a joke. When they get called out, suddenly it's a joke. But, like, what's the punchline? You got some kid working at McDonald's fired? That's hilarious. <laughs> that, that's, that's hilarious, yeah. Well, now guess what? You're you're not gonna you're not gonna get to go to Mar-a-Lago. You're, you're not. 
Oh, he, he might still. He might still, yeah, because fucking our fucking idiot president will see the story and go, "What? No, he wasn't framed. That's a lie. Fake news." Yeah. I'm gonna make you secretary of the treasury or some shit. I don't care. I'm an idiot. <sighs> All right. Well, this this is my holiday hero. This this little girl. This little girl is my fucking hero. I, I did you ever know that you are my hero because you are the wind beneath my wings? Where's my little bear that plays that? Five year old girl gives audience a middle finger for twenty minutes while starring as Angel in Nativity Play. Oh, look at her! Oh. <laughs> Five year old girl starring as an angel in a school Nativity Play surprised parents by spending almost the entire performance. Standing with her two middle fingers raised to the audience. <laughs> Dan is hoping this my my little four year old niece is just like this in a year. What a child <laughs> is this? <laughs> Ella Lega, who had apparently hurt one of her fingers, spent at least twenty minutes of the half hour performance waving both middle fingers at her mother. <laughs> Magnificent photographs of Ella's unique performance show her center stage, dressed in white, wearing a halo of tinsel, while displaying the double-barreled salute. Ella's <laughs> mother, uh, Carla Bovingdon, a 33, said she was thinking, Oh God, Ella, please stop. But despite mouthing at her daughter to put her hands down, she ultimately had to let her get on with it. So what we're going with is <laughs> she had a boo-boo. Yep. She was trying to show me and she had no idea. Oh yeah, listen to this. This this she likes me to let me know if she's at all injured. So she was basically trying to show me she had done from across the room. It was the tiniest little hangnail as well. Then she put both her fingers up because she was trying to compare to see if both fingers were hurt. Um I'm skeptical. Like, good on you for trying to cover for your kid. No. I'm skeptical. I'm I mean, skeptical I as well. the top and it doesn't work. That you got a hangnail and you were trying to show it to him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, officer, really? You see? It's it's really bad right there. Big hangnail. It's this one right here. Right what there. It's terrible. I... It hurts. <laughs> no. Because if you weren't five, I don't think that'll work. Her mother says the performance was an hour and a half long, and I would say 70% of it she had her middle finger up. See, when my niece does this, it'll be on purpose. <laughs> She's like, going to send a nun. My brother-in-law has a little bit of a potty mouth, and my nephew Pat, who, you know, people mm -hmm. on the show know by now. I don't know. At one point, his father said to him, shut the fuck up, Patrick. And little four-year-old Molly said, yeah, shut the fuck up, Patrick. <laughs> <sighs> Luckily, Patrick's a good sport. I've just, the 70 minutes, everybody in the audience is sitting there with a little girl waving her. How do you continue with the performance? The angel, of all people. The angel. Not the fucking donkey. <laughs> the Not the wise men. The angel bearing tidings from heaven. Yeah, how do you how how, how do you continue on with the performance? Hark, the herald angels sing. How do you get? How do you continue on with it? I don't know. Uh, and finally, from the Christmas front, from the department of watch your damn kids. Texas boy sends front yard on fire after getting magnifying glass for Christmas. <laughs> this would have been you. Yeah. Christmas went up in flames for a family in Texas after a 12-year-old boy decided to use a magnifying glass for a purpose other than reading. Interior designer uh, Nissa Lynn Parson shared on Facebook how her family's Christmas day was memorable to say the least after her 12-year-old used the magnifying glass he received as a present to try to light things on fire. I mean, he's a 12-year-old boy, so that tracks. Caden asked for a magnifying glass for Christmas, Carson said in the video. 
C A Y D A N. Caden, yeah. Uh, we thought, oh, he wants to magnify something. No, he wanted to see if he could make a fire, and they did. Oh, he wants to magnify something. Yeah, look at this little bastard. <laughs> look at the front car. <laughs> <laughs> this would 100% have been you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Merry fucking Christmas. There's fire. Oh. Family members rush to get buckets of water and blankets to smother the flames while also turning on the sprinkles to prevent the flames from spreading to their neighbor's home. The fire went as high as the tree. Blaze ended, oh. up, hmm? Blaze ended up scorching the front yard of the family home in addition to destroying some of the, the Christmas lights out front. Family is grateful, however, no major damage or injury results. You gotta watch them kids! Yeah! Don't give them a magnifying glass. Don't. He could have shot his eye out. <laughs> I the little... You'll burn your house down. You'll burn your house down. <laughs> Don't send that kid to Yavla. Yeah, that's true. Kid's getting grounded. Yep. Yeah, but what are you gonna? What's he gonna do? Well, you can't even give him a fucking magnifying glass. Like, what do you do with this kid? <laughs> Will said, "Well, silver lining, you don't need to mow the lawn for a while. You give him a pencil, it's going in someone's throat." <laughs> John Wick begins. Yeah, <laughs> and trust this kid. Oh, all right. Well, <clears throat> normally this would be. Where we call it an end, and we tell you what we learned this week. That you got to watch your kids. We have so much more to learn. We would we would have told you that don't always trust the cops; they lie. We would have told you that turtles can set fires, and that uh, you need to remember you bought the damn Roomba, and just because and you don't throw fire a child a tortoise and a magnifying glass. But oh no, we have one more thing this week. Something we've 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 start to call. The rectal spectrum. And it's brought to you by a man, this man, this hero, this legend, this saint. Formerly of Deadspin, may it rest in power, Barry Pacheski, who was the uh, associate, the deputy uh, editor for a while, acting editor for a while. Um, Deadspin, you may or may not know this year, completely imploded when the uh, venture capital owners decided they wanted to make them stick to sports and everyone said yeah nah fam we're not doing that um to the point where they fired barry and then the entire staff walked the next day um but probably barry, about 10 years ago i wrote a couple pieces for dead spin actually <laughs> they used to have a friday feature where they like brought in girls to write stuff mm. barry Pacheski. <laughs> Barry Pacheski, however, saw, soldiered on with this wonderful feature he presents every year, going through and searching the national ER databases to find what did we get stuck in our rectums last year. And everywhere else. Everywhere else. We're going to start from top to bottom, as it were, as we always do, and we're going to go over some of the things that people decided that, that were, well, I say decided, people that were discovered in people's ears. It's like Indiana Jones. For that people fell on. Yeah. Um, let's start with the ear. Um, sister put long slender toy in patient's ear. Yeah, that sounds about right. I don't have the link. Oh, of course you don't. Um, let's see. Metal piece of shirt. I, like a button? Is that like a zipper? Like a zipper, maybe? Yeah. Um, patient said she had earwax and attempted to remove with tweezers and piece of string. Were you trying to floss your head? <laughs> it doesn't It doesn't go all the it way through. Go, it should go it all should the way through. Go. Place thermometer in ear fell on bed. Oh, no. You know they've got those digital ones now, right? 
Yeah. You don't even need to put it in any of your holes. You just hold it to your forehead. Yeah. Just you just go like this now. <clears throat> Juice box straw. Okay. Decorative seashell. How? Why? S slime. Just no, no other explanation. Just slime. Well, no, you know that's a kid's toy, right? <laughs> if if it was it though, was it though? I there mean, are many I... things that can produce a slime, Tara. Yeah, and of I course mean, there is a snail trail facial now. So, and of course, just to keep it festive, a Christmas ornament. Um. Do no. you hear what I hear? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh, moving along. Um, nose. Two rare earth magnets. I'll tell you exactly what happened here. I can, I, I can even show you one. Um, I'm not going to put it up my nose. but What's a rare earth magnet? It is a, a neodymium magnet. Rare earths. Um, special type of, of mineral that are super magnetic. It's what oh. we use to make, like, you know, we need them for, like, every kind of electronic these days. Um, what somebody did was they took two of these, and they were like, they thought they'd be funny. They're like, hey, they'll stick together through my nose, and thwoop, and thwoop. Idiot. Ouch. Um, two, also, that really hurt. Two button batteries. That's another one. <laughs> somebody thought, hey, I'll be funny. Um... Bath bead. <laughs> Bug. Someone tried to remove with bobby pin. Bobby pin now stuck. Well, what happened to the bug? <laughs> it's still up there stuck on a bobby pin. Just eating your brain? Googly eye. <laughs> I can't, I'm just picturing the doctor with that little nose magnifier they look up there and he looks up there and there's a little eye looking back at him out of the guy's nose oh it looks like the guy from the mucinex commercial up there <laughs> um and of course christmas ornament <laughs> do you smell what i smell throat fidget spinner <gasps> oh what how you like this big! Condom. Why aren't you doing porn? <laughs> Seven nuts from the Christmas tree mom and dad were taking down. Seven. Seven. Why does it matter where they came from? Seven nuts a oh, choking. because you don't just say like seven nuts. <laughs> I um, mean, if they came from the candy dish or the tree, it doesn't matter. You're... Okay. Tape dispenser. Piece of bed. That's what piece? Tropical breeze detergent pod. Oh, stop! <laughs> the Tide Pod Challenge ain't real. They're made of poison. Swallowed three button batteries last night and thumbtack this morning because they taste good. Okay. Okay. So that expands into a foam dinosaur. <laughs> I remember those. Do you remember those? <laughs> yeah, it's like a little pill, and you put it in water, and out comes like this dinosaur sponge. And then it immediately stops being fun, and right. there's no purpose to it at all, unless it's clogging up your intestinal <laughs> tract. Um, Swallowed stamp ink pad that he received as a prize at the dentist's office. <laughs> That was a kid. I hope to God Listen, that was a kid. Not everything they give you at the dentist is supposed to go in your mouth. I know I, they usually give you, like, toothpaste, but just because they give it to you at the dentist doesn't mean it goes in your mouth. About ten puzzle pieces. Okay, you skipped a really terrifying one. Cleaning solution, razor blade covered in toilet paper, broken plastic soap dish. I don't know how sure, that all like, worked together. Punk? Like, what What kind of punk 
snuff film <laughs> were you filming? Had necklace in mouth, trying to untangle it, and accidentally swallowed it. Oh! In your mouth, really? Glass Christmas tree light? Drill bit? <laughs> Swallowed a thumbtack she thought was a mint. I know in like Harry Potter world, some of the candy is very sharp. <laughs> but this is not Harry Potter world. And of course, Christmas ornament. Penis. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, yeah. Now we're getting to the good stuff. Crayons. Plural. Not just a crayon. Multiple. So I don't know if they went like in a row or went for girth. You'd like to hope they were in a well, I don't know which is worse actually. Yeah, I wouldn't. Cause um, either they gotta like if you got them in a row, you either gotta pass them or they gotta go in for them. And I don't know which is worse. Chopstick. Okay, just get it. Do 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 They make a sex toy for that. Just get the toy they make for that. Lollipop stick. And I know exactly what happened here. Some motherfucker thought he was being funny. We represent the lollipop kill. The lollipop kill. Or, oh no, you know, it's not. You want a lollipop? That's what I was thinking. Uh, wedding ring. You missed one, Tara. A wedding ring's pretty, not pretty impressive. Where that goes? <laughs> Coaxial cable, Tara. You're not gonna get internet that way. <laughs> <laughs> the last one is terrifying. Bobby pin, unable to achieve erection, and thought it would help. Done. What the hell? <laughs> done. Done. I'm out. Um, Jesus Christ. Done. If you're using it as like a splint, then I'm sorry. Because oh. <laughs> the biggest bobby pin I know of is like that big. This is one of the big bobby pins, like eight inches long. Yeah, they don't make them that big. <laughs> I got one in my hair right now. The biggest, <laughs> the biggest bobby pin they make is like two and a half inches. So if you're using it as like oh. a splint... I'm sorry. <laughs> but also, why would that help? <laughs> well, but don't. Th 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 we're moving on right along. Vagina. Um, toothbrush. Hygiene is important. Yeah. A metal. Brush and, those vaginal teeth. A metal and plastic container. Oh, hey, here's some crossover to our wheelhouse. Was being arrested by the police, so she took her cell phone and hid it from them, stuck it in her vagina. Okay. Makeup sponge? Oh. That's, that's not how that... Oh. Not ready for its close-up. Large piece of underwear. <laughs> like, did you just have a super atomic wedgie? <laughs> Toy action figure. Now, I need some clarification on this. Are we talking Kenner Star Wars? Or are we talking Masters of the Universe? Like, I like Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> I do. But... And <clears throat> the final one is... Jumped off couch and landed on spoon. Sure you did. No, you didn't. <laughs> The fuck you did. No. What kind of spoon? Are we talking like a wooden spoon? Physics does not support that. Are we talking like a so metal spoon? There is no spoon. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a thing that happened. You shoved a spoon up your hoo-ha, and you didn't want to own up to it. That's what happened. <laughs> and now, of course... What it's named for. <clears throat> the rectum. Patient stated he slipped in the shower and landed on 
metal air freshener can and it went into rack. Also, absolutely did not happen. Did not happen. Who has, okay, who has a can of Febreze in the shower? <laughs> who the fuck? Also, I mean, unless you're the goatsy guy. <laughs> <laughs> Your anus is not generally just open and dilated to two inches, ready to accept a can. You'd walk around that way because you'd have to wear diapers. Like, that's not a way you can exist. Um, plastic toy about six inches long. Um, toothpick. Toothbrush, toothbrush Gotta holder. Uh, it, there's no word of that toothpick, toothbrush, toothbrush holder. If that that's all the same person or, um, <laughs> two razor blades. <gasps> How? No. Two small. Why? Two small vibrators. Okay, I know why. <laughs> <laughs> Turkey baster. <laughs> I know why, but you got it very wrong. <laughs> Condom wrapper. I like the next one. <laughs> Terry, you take it. I can't read it. I can't read it. Coat hanger. Quote, patient unsure. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I hate it when I just wake up in the middle of the night <laughs> and there's a coat hanger up my ass. <laughs> Am I right? Like, who hasn't just woken up in the middle of the night with a coat hanger up their ass? <laughs> Worst. Oh, God. Well, no, is it a plastic coat hanger or a metal coat hanger? It's very no. important. Yeah, hang on. Um, cigarette lighter. Not safe. Um, bag of heroin. Hey, that's our show. Um, I mean, I love how we get all these other things, but we hear something like bag of heroin. Like, yeah, we know why that's there. Yeah, move, yeah, along, yeah. move along. Um, egg timer. Okay. Small shampoo bottle. <laughs> Large shampoo bottle. And I swear to God, I've been waiting to use this. Uh, we're stealing from scrubs, but I don't care. Light bulb. Either that or his colon had a really good idea. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Applesauce can. I don't understand the next one. Accidentally, accidentally got a dildo lodged in rectum. And cut the end of the dildo off. Have you thought he could hide it if he could just get rid of the end of it? <laughs> the balls, <laughs> they won't fit. Just cut it off. <laughs> How did he do that by himself? Yeah. No, that had that had friends. <laughs> How does that happen to you? <laughs> um... <clears throat> Stuck a four-inch butt plug up rectum yesterday. Handle broke. He continued to push the toy in. Why? <laughs> it's not going to come back out the top. <laughs> That's not how that works. I'm sorry. <clears throat> it's not like when you lose your hoodie string and you just kind of work it through. No, it's not. Like that. That's not it's not going to work like that. Was using a prostate massager and it got sucked in. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> what the hell is going on in your asshole that it's sucking things in? It's the opposite of how it's supposed to work. Actually. You have a sarlacc living in your anus. Come on. <laughs> you should. You should see a specialist because it's doing the opposite of its job. And of course, goose from Captain Marvel hiding in your ass. And of course, finally, Christmas ornament. Cause... I want a new <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> one of the other ones. That's this one. This is the one that was up there. <laughs> the farting one. <laughs> <laughs> to play with him and joy. He's gonna keep farting for a minute. <laughs>